Welcome back to Academy. I'm here with a quick tutorial on how to make a bungee cord server. So let's go ahead and get started. You want to right click your desktop, new folder, and I call this bungee, bungee servers, or whatever you want to call it. So I want to open it up, make another new file. I'm going to call this bungee cord. Then I want to make another folder, call it server1. No, let's call this hub server and then call this one server 2. Sorry for that weird, awkward moment right there. Okay, then we click uh, bungee cord. You want to, I'll put this in the description below. I want to download the latest one bungee cord, uh, not bungee portals, bungee cord. <laughs> then you want to get the start that, uh, the start, the launch. I would have the code down in the description below. So let's, you can go ahead and create a, I'll put it for download for you guys, that way it'll be easier for you guys. You know, just double click the launch. Wait for it to create it. Alright, once you see that, you can go ahead and close it. You want to go inside your config. Make sure everything's there. Okay, so your fallback server is the server that your players will go back to. So you always want to make sure that the host is 25565 and your lobby server or your hub server 25570 or whatever other IP beside. Do not make sure you don't have any other server running on 25565. Your bungee cord server will be working on that. So then you can go ahead and save that, your local host. Then you want to go to let's go, let's that out. I'm going to go back. Want to go to your hub server, drag in the spigot, and drag in the start. The start is just this is normal. Double click it. Wait for it to generate your server. It looks weird because it's a performance enhancer, so it looks different from all your other other ones. So yeah. Wait for that to generate. Generate. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's take it to on. Whoops. Alright, let me go ahead and pause until this finishes. Alright, we're back. Once you have that, you want to go inside your server properties. And this is a very, very important part. You want to go to your online mode. And you want to put this to false. Then you want to save it. Don't worry, uh, it's not going to save, uh, you'll see. I'll explain it a little bit. Then you want to go inside your bucket YML and want to switch the connection throttle to negative 1 and save. And then close. And now, let me explain why you want to keep that. Let me go ahead and make the server, the second server, and I'll be, hold on almost forgot. You might want to make go inside your server properties and set this to 570. So I'll be right back and set up server 2. Okay, so we have everything. Okay, do you want to go inside your server properties? Put server port 25571 online mode uh, or is it? Line mode false. Save that. You want to go inside your bucket YML Sorry for that background. Okay, then we we'll set that to negative one. Save. Then you want to go back to hub server, server properties. Uh, okay, uh, make sure you change two five five six five to two five five seventy. Control S. Now we want to go back to your bungee cord. Go inside your config. Copy your lobby. And paste it and call this whatever you want like let's go ahead and call this uh like game or game server so two five five seven one as we set inside right here inside here two five five seven one and the two five five seventy right there is from your hub server and you can set uh you can customize whatever you want here and let's go ahead and save that which that's server one. Go ahead and run server two. For that startup. 
Oh, we'll be right back while that generates. All right, there we go. Once you have t the both servers running, you want to go back, click your bungee cord, and double click your launch or your start. All right, let's see what I did wrong here. All right, let's go back inside our bungee cord. Sorry, guys. Action throttle for a thousand. Go back on that. Oh, my bad. Delete this online mode. Don't copy that. Just make sure it's at the bottom. Online mode true. That means when you connect to your lobby server and any um when they connect to your lobby server, they have to be a real account. Go ahead and save that. Wait. Oh, my bad. I already have it running. Let's go ahead and close it and run it. All right. Now what's going on? All right, be right back while I see. Oh, I forgot. I have that host and wrong. So I'll be right back with my port forwarding. All right, sorry guys, forgot to port forward two five five six five on this new network I got. So once you have that, you want to go back in your bungee cord, and if let's say if you have a custom IP already from like freedns.com or any one you have, you want to go inside your config and you want to click force hosts. So mine is mc-jk.us.to us.to you want to do that and you want to put at the server you wanted to connect to just put lobby right there because that's the default server is lobby let's make this test server and for default server that's if you want every time they reconnect they'll connect back to their hub server so let's go ahead and save that and go inside my bungee cord type end and I have a code in it so it'll automatically restart it for me in Minecraft, sorry for the weird glitching, and you'll see just another uh, fourth Minecraft host. And when you log in, you'll have this. Oh wow, the glitching! Then you can tap our server, and the tap our server space games, and you get connected to your other server. So that's very easy to set up. If you, uh, if once, if I hit more than at least five likes, I'll go ahead and upload. Sorry for the weird glitching. I really need to get a brand new graphics card, big time. Uh, it's outdated, so see the weird glitching and the weird drawing over it. I need to get a brand new one. If you have any 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 type of problem with this, please comment down in the description or private message me. I will try to get to you. Uh, the usual common problems that people have is this on the bungee cord they get this weird column thing. I'll go ahead and make my thing a copy and pasteable thing and also put the thing for download. So I'm also he I'm also here joined by hold on guys, sorry. I'm joined by Chaos. I don't think you guys can hear him. That's why I'm in trying to set it up. Alright, now you should be able to hear him. Yeah, they should be able to hear you now. Stop recording by accident. So, yeah, if you have any problems, comment down in the description below. Sorry for that when I was trying to click the uh, settings for my video. So, sorry about that. Just re if you have any problems, comment down in the description below. Remember to re subscribe if this helped. Like. Um, and comment, comment down below again just in case you get a problem. So, yeah, thanks for watching the Jump from the Jake Jeremy and Chaos from the Jake Jeremy too. Thank you. Yeah, goodbye.